Hey British Vogue, it's Liam Payne here and I'm going to show you what's in the bag. Let's kick it off. I do a lot of boxing, so these are my boxing gloves that I travel around with. It basically keeps me fit on the road. So here I have from QMS moisturiser and a day collagen. This one first, then you wait 30 minutes and then you put this one on. Also in line with skincare and training, multivitamins. Obviously being on the road as much as I am, um, you can get quite run down from time to time. So I think these are always good to take. This is actually Mark Wahlberg's company, Performance Inspired. So these are like the must-haves. Protein powders, nuts are always a good go-to snack. They're healthy, they keep the weight on for me, which is obviously important. I'm kind of the opposite for most people. This, believe it or not, is actually my travel studio. And when I'm on the road, sometimes you get an idea somewhere, you might record it down on your phone. Then when I go back to the hotel, I use this little mini keyboard, this computer here. Contents in the bag for a desert island, I'd probably say my studio because music for me and making music is quite a therapeutic experience. I think that would be the best thing to have with absolutely nothing to do. The item everybody should have in their bag is a good pair of sunglasses. Sometimes you might need them for sunshine, sometimes you might be hungover from a party and don't, you don't really want anyone to see. Um, so a good pair of sunnies is a must have. This is a hair wax that I use, it's called Box O Bollocks. Mm. This is my travel in-ears that I have. We have them in so we can hear exactly what's going on. You can choose to have both in, which kind of shuts the room off a little bit, and you can like concentrate and be in your own little world. Or I tend to have one out so I can still hear the room, so I like to make sure I know how the crowd's getting on. Okay, so one really important one, and quite personal one for me in my bag, actually. Uh, this is the fragrance that I use. This is Santal 33 by Le Labo. And what's nice about this, this is actually from my son bought me this for Father's Day. And it says Daddy from Bear, which always brings a little smile to my face when I'm putting it on. If I could fit one person in my bag, uh, it would have to obviously be my son, uh, Bear. Obviously, you know, it's hard uh, missing him out on the road as working away as much as I do. Um, but you know, his mom's super understanding with me. She takes great care of him. I always know he's really well looked after. It's just the little moments that you miss out on sometimes that I'd love to be there for more. And then last but not least here, I have Vogue Forces for Change. Signed by the wonderful Mr. Edward NFL himself. So I keep this with me permanently, um, just to make sure it reminds me to be a force for change as much as possible. And that was what was in my bag. Let me pack up and get out of here. If I could trade bags with anybody, it would have to be Mr. Enninfell himself. Has he done a what's in the bag yet? We all need that. I actually think we need to start like a, maybe like an in the bag challenge. So we're calling you out, Edward. Are you gonna show us what's in the bag or not?